just because you think it's quite risky to have a home birth and you it's all unknown isn't it you don't know what's going to happen you want there to be medical professionals around all the time and it's just more than the normal thing to do just having that midwife come to the house well I thought that was that was really nice because it just saves you having to wait in doctor's offices and it's more a lot more personal and more like just a chat with a friend rather than you're feeling like you're at a doctor's appointment and you're a bit more on edge. I just remember thinking it was such a good thing because you hear so many stories about people going to and from the hospital, you're not ready yet, come home and just to think that you just would just go straight away and be fine. You know that you're going to go into hospital and stay there and not have to keep coming back and forth. That was such a massive thing for me to think that I can just stay in the comfort of my home until I'm ready and going to and fro. Because I know so many people, my sister included, that has had to go back and forth. And it's just so nice to be able to just stay in the comfort of your own home. Nick didn't have much... <laughs> well, Nick's, I don't think Nick knew much about anyone's labour anyway, so I think everything was new to him, so he just thought it was quite nice that we could stay at home. Um, Mum thought it was really different, because where they live down south, they don't have anything like one-to-one -one at all down there. So she thought it was really different, but she thought it was brilliant, because obviously she's seen like my sister have to go back and forth, and things and she thought it was brilliant that we could just stay at home and potter about until you're ready and you're much more relaxed at home and I think you can get over your contractions a bit more at home and rather than I think it's another thing to be nervous going into hospital and all different things when you're at home you're just in your own comfort zone so I think you can do you feel like you can do what you want. First thing I did was rang my mum. I think I just came downstairs, constantly on the phone to my mum because she was travelling to come. I was having to pace while I was on the phone to her and put the phone down and pace a bit, put the phone down. And then I think I rang you quite early and you just said, just see how you get on for a bit. And so then Nick went out to go and get some Lucozade and some paracetamol. <laughs> so I think I was just kind of just sat on the sofa, just getting through each contraction when they were coming. I think I lied rang you once and then I think Nick rang you, didn't he? Because I I think my mum was timing the contractions. I don't know how far apart they were. I wasn't paying any attention to any of that really. My mum was timing them and she said they were quite close. And then I was saying it was quite painful. I couldn't sort of talk through them. So I think Nick rang you then and said, we think we need you to come and see what's going on. As soon as I knew that you were on your way, I felt kind of instantly calmer. Like, it's alright, Jill's coming, it's like everything's going to be sort of fine. Because you do feel on edge when you're on your own, because you're thinking, well, if baby decides to come now, I've got, we have no idea between the three of us what we're going to do. So I think as soon as I knew that you were coming and then when you arrived, you just feel more relaxed because you know what you're doing. And you just... I just had the trust in you that you knew what you're talking about and just made me feel more comfortable when you were here. Well, you didn't think I was too far along to begin with, did you? Because I was quite, I was quite quiet. I think I've learned that's how I deal with my contractions is just be completely quiet. And then I think I said to you they're really, they're really quite painful now. So then we went upstairs and you checked how many centimetres dilated I was. Seven to eight or something quite far along, which I think was a shock for me and for, you <laughs> and for everybody else. I think the bags were already in the car, ready to go. Well, I think I was quite immobile. I think, I, I think it was a bit of a struggle for me to walk upstairs. 
And I think I've, I remember just kind of being flopped out on the bed and you saying that if I wanted to go to hospital, we'd have to get an ambulance because of how far along I was, it wouldn't be safe to go in a car. Or we could stay here if you, it completely up to you if, that, if you wanted to. And just, I didn't even have to think about it. It was just an instant, yeah, we'll do that. I think because you were here and I had so much trust in you with having you throughout my whole pregnancy, that it just wasn't even a choice. I was just like, I just felt so comfortable to just stay. And obviously the thought of having to, especially get in an ambulance and travel to hospital, wait around in hospital, I was just kind of thinking, I can't be bothered to do anything. <laughs> so it was just so nice to be able to just stay exactly where I was. And I didn't feel, I didn't feel, people always ask me, were you nervous when you decided? And, but I, I didn't at all, I wasn't nervous the entire time. I think my mum was, and Nick were more nervous than I was. I just didn't, I was just like, Jill's here, so it's fine. Ish. I remember you having to have your phone light on because I needed it to be completely dark <laughs> and nobody was allowed to talk. And I remember being fed chocolate. <laughs> really didn't want to, but had to, I just had to get some sugar in me. <laughs> It's quite, it was quite a blur with light, isn't it, because I was quite knackered for that one. The dilating, yeah, I couldn't believe that you were saying, you know, you're practically there. And I was, that was, so that was really good, I was really grateful for that. But I think I pushed for a while, but obviously I'd rather it be that way around than to and fro and be sort of waiting for days to have established labour. Once you're in established labour, at least you can do something about it then and push. So yeah, I was, I was quite surprised it happened quite quickly, but I am thankful. I'm guessing it did because I was just kind of comfortable. And obviously I went into labour in bed next to Nick. And then I'm, I'm guessing that if you're comfortable and you're releasing all the right hormones and things, it must just happen easier for yourself. Because then obviously I had my mum here, so like the two most important people to me, Nick and my mum, so I was like surrounded by support and things, so I think it probably did make it easier and quicker. It's, it's a bizarre feeling, isn't it? I think that's the thing I'm going to miss most about not having another child, is that one feeling of the pain is completely over. It's just instantly gone, and then you've got your baby. So it's like two amazing things. And it was just, it was surreal. I just kind of, you know, seeing like, thinking, oh my God, I've got a baby, and here's, here's my baby. And I couldn't believe that she was just inside me a second ago. I thought, how could she fit? Because they seem so big when they come out and you think, oh my goodness. But yeah, it was an amazing feeling. I'll, ne I'll never forget that feeling. I remember being in the shower afterwards and just having the half-hearted kind of wash down. And I was just like, I can't believe I just did that. And I couldn't believe that I'd just had her at home as well. And I was like, I can't believe that. It was almost like disbelief. I couldn't believe what had just happened. And you're like, I've just given birth. Because you spend so long kind of building it up and being nervous about it and you don't know how it's going to go. And then to just be like, oh, it's done. She's here. I just couldn't believe it. Well, I 100% from day one said if I had a low-risk pregnancy, I would definitely have a home birth. Because it was just such an amazing thing to have. I loved the fact that afterwards I just got into my own bed. And then me and my mum and Nick all had a fish and chip dinner on the bed with my newborn baby just next to me. And it was just so surreal. So I definitely wanted that again the second time. But obviously Sarah and Grace, they were amazing. And I kind of felt the same feeling when they walked through the door as well. Because I think, because I spoke to so many midwives from one to one and so many people from going for the classes, bumps and babies and things, you kind of know, you know that you're getting someone good when it's from one to one. You know that they know what they're talking about. So as soon as they walk through the door as well, I, I felt that relief of they're here and they know what they're talking about. I 
I just say, do it. Because it's just so much easier than having to go somewhere. I know that sounds really lazy, doesn't it? But it's just, you feel so much more comfortable with everything that happens. And I think you feel a bit more in control of your situation because you're in your space. And, you know, at any point you can, if you decide you want to go to hospital, you want to go to whatever, at any point you can just do that. So you've got nothing to lose. It, you're just in control of it, really, rather than being sort of told what to do. You're, you just go with what, how you feel. That was nice. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine going into hospital and then having someone I didn't know. And I feel you, because you build up a trust over the how many months of your pregnancy with your midwife. So you kind of know, they know what you want during labour as well. They, how you want to do things and it's like a trust thing. You just feel comfortable with the person. It's like another family member coming in. So I've had like you, my mum and Nick all felt like all family members. One to One Midwives provides a unique and enhanced midwifery service that's tailored to the needs of the woman and her family. It's an individualised service but at no cost. They get to know their midwife during the pregnancy, they get to become more confident because they're familiar with their midwife and therefore outcomes for both mum and baby are best. It really enhances your experience of pregnancy. Labour and birth are the most important days of your life and in the lead up to that time, it just makes it really special.